Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. This is Big Chef JC, and this is also Spirit of Taste Techniques. We're going to do onion chopping. Why onions? Well, onions are an essential part of pff, almost anything. Anything you make has onions in it somehow because it's a universal spice. It's a universal taste and flavor, and it's used just about anywhere. Chives have onion flavor. Green onions, onion flavor. Onions, onion flavor. Even shallots have an onion flavor to them. So uh, if it doesn't have raw onions in it or whole onions, it probably has onion powder or granulated onion in it. So we're going to show you first off how to chop an onion and what julienne means and what small dice means, what large dice means, what chopped means, and what minced means. Cool? Let's do this. All right, guys, we're going to show you how to cut an onion. I have one that is already peeled right here, but we're going to show you first how to peel an onion. So take the top and just cut the top off right there and throw that top kind of wherever. Next, flip it over on the top, stays flat, doesn't move anywhere on you. Um, then cut it straight down the middle. Boom, just like that. Then cut a little tiny sliver of those little hairs off. See those? You don't want those, those are gross. You get those off like so. And then it's easy to just grab, I like to grab this first layer, all right? Some people just grab this part right here. But this first layer usually has a thick membrane on it at some point and makes the onion not very uh, tender. And um, I, I, some people feel wasteful doing it, truthfully. I just tear it off. And see, the onion sticks together. Oops. The onion sticks together because of that little tip that's still on there and it retains the structure and integrity of the onion. So we're gonna peel that off as well, that first layer. See if this is that thick membrane part. The one half of the onion was like a real layer. This part is kind of like a thick skin. So whether this part was like part of the onion, right there, uh, this part is more like a skin. So take that first layer off of the onion because that makes it a little bit uh, more desirable to eat and it doesn't like end up tasting like leather in your soup. So first off, I'm going to show you what a dice of onion is. And onions are cool and really easy to cut because they have these layers. And because they have the rings in them, then that's one layer of slicing that's already done for you. Cool? So real, real simple is that you take your knife, and you follow the little lines that are across the top of the onion. So if you see those, those are also kind of markers for you. And you follow those, and you cut in, and you just kind of go all the way around. And you go in the circle shape, and you don't quite go all the way through it. You get as far as you can to this back part without going all the way through. You don't see my knife going through the other side. So just do that. And then as you come around, just keep going. This is when it gets a little hairy. And just keep following through. And this is just practice. I mean, that's all that cooking is anyway. So now that you have this layer and you have these tiny little bad boys right there, it's time to dice it. And this would be a small dice. A small dice is uh, a one-eighth by one-eighth inch. Uh, so when you cut these, and this is for doing like a rice pilaf or doing something that is uh, a little bit more showy, uh, not like a stew or something like that, or even a chili. This would be, you know, this is hot dog onion style. And so that you have all that onion, then you take this and flip it on its side like so, and you have all those little cuts, and then you just cut all those. And it, like I said, it maintains the quality of the onion, maintains the integrity and the structure of it. So you just have that, and that you throw away. Cool? So that's how you small dice an onion. All right, so we just saw how to small dice an onion. Now we're going to show how to julienne an onion. And julienne means that it's little slivers that are one-eighth uh, inch across. That's the technical definition 
please don't get rulers out for this stuff, folks. Um, this is, you know, this is old school chef style stuff that people aren't going to measure your onions. I'm not. Not at first, anyway, but as soon as you start doing this all the time, I'll be there and I will have a ruler. Um, so you have your halved onion, once again. Julienne of onion is the same thing as the dicing, but you just leave it um, uh, with the slivers. So I usually, this isn't the classical way to do it, but this is my, this is my style. So I take that edge off, right? And then I literally do the same thing. But my notice my knife's all the way through the knife because or the onion because I want it to just go through. And this, folks, is literally drilling it. So I got I get to this point about halfway through the onion, and then I flip it on its side again, and do this exact same thing I just did with the first side. Boom! And once again, takes practice. Just, just make a big, huge pot of chili or something. Make some, uh, I don't know, anything with slivered onions. And this, I promise, you'll get good at it. All right, so now I took some of those chopped onions. And we're going to mince onions now. So how you mince is mince is like really, really finely chopped, basically. And so I take my hand. I put it on top of the knife. So there's no danger of cutting my fingies. And you just go through the onions like so. And you just do this over and over again until, you know, basically your, your onions or whatever it is you're mincing, garlic, um, pickles, relish, peppers, anything, is just a very, very, very rough, small, chopped, or dice and I lied earlier this is where you would use it on hot dogs um, the other ones were more for broth burst so you just keep dicing keep dicing keep chopping keep chopping and they become pretty small and if they're not all perfectly small that's fine I won't call the police on you and your hands are really gonna smell like onions after this and the best way to get rid of that is by wiping your hands on stainless steel. Why that is, I don't know, but as a case. Or buy some gloves. That's what I always do. Um, I just use gloves, and that prevents the smell from getting on your hands. But that right there is minced onion. What's up? Um, we're going to show you large dice now. And large dice, uh, if I said small dice before, was one eighth inch by one eighth inch. Large dice is one quarter inch by one quarter inch. So you're just basically going to do the same thing. Um, you're going to make a little bit bigger, twice as big. Takes a little bit less time. This is good for soups, uh, maybe some sauces, and then boom, boom, boom. See how much faster that is. People opt for large dice because it takes about <laughs> one eighth of the time that a uh, small dice does. And people usually don't care, but once again, if you're doing it for something small or you're using raw onions, I suggest small dice. But if you're gonna cook these down, large dice is just fine. And then there's also chopped onions. Chopped onions you use for stews and chilies and um, it's just a very generic term for onions, uh, for cut onions. So I usually do chopped. I cut the onion in half again, bam. And or maybe even thirds if it's a bigger onion and then I cut the end off here already and then I just take large hunks of onion just like that flip it boom you have chopped onion you know big huge chunks that you would use in chili that kind of stuff but onions cool once again because it falls apart has natural layers easy to cut tastes good in just about anything and is used all over the world in all different cuisines and cultures. So that's Onions 101. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the Onion featurette. Uh, this is Big Chef JC signing off. Spiritoftaste.blogspot.com Also, Facebook.com slash Spirit of Taste. At Big Chef JC on Twitter. And you can also find me on Google Plus. Big Chef JC. I hope you have a great weekend. And we will talk to you soon.
Peace.